everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I'm Natalia from Akaihana Art and I love digital planning, creating digital products, designing them, illustrating them. Excuse me about my voice, uh, I have a terrible cold that I'm trying to get rid of. So bear with me with that and um, yes, this video is going to be quite different from the videos that I've done before. Uh, it's going to be about digital planning, but I'm going to change the dynamic a little bit because I have a new thing that I want to show you. That is a whole process on how I design my digital products. Uh, when I was started in this type of business, I didn't have any resource to go to and learn how to create these planners and I guess I had to come up with my own process and, and I want to show you how I create my, my planners and my layouts and how I come up with ideas to create my product. Uh, so I'm going to record most of my week because I came up with an idea for a new range of products that I would love to design and use. This idea came up to me, to my mind last week. So um, it's a product that I'm really excited about. A little bit of story time. I, I come from a huge family that always gathers around food, cooking. We always like to share things, share food between us. That is an activity that I have inherited and I, I've loved to take it to my own home with my husband and my daughter and soon my baby boy. That is gathering around cooking, share food with family and friends. This product as you may guess right now, it's a recipe book. I'm going to record the process that I follow to create this product, the insert that this digital product is going to have, uh, how are going to be the layouts, the covers that it's going to have. I hope you enjoy this process. I hope you find it interesting and uh, it gives value to you that are also creating this type of products thank you so much and keep on watching okay for now i have the three books here uh you're going to see me create this one that is the pastry and bakery one um i want to design the cover that is going to be an illustration made by hand with watercolor uh i don't know yet if i'm going to do it digitally or with real watercolors i also want to create a measurement chart because i have found out that um in the u.s in countries like the u.s um you measure different uh the here in Europe, uh, the temperature, uh, the amount of liquids and, and uh, solids, your measurement, the measurements of the United States are different. So I want to create a chart when you can measure your flour or your liquids, you know, from a measurement cup to, you know, like the cups you have in your house or the spoons that you have on hand uh, to make it easy and reachable for any type of uh, bakery maker. So, okay, that's why I want to create this measurement chart that I want to give for free to the people that purchase um, this product and also the people that watch this video. Next thing that I want to have is the spices that you use for pastry and bakery. Finally, uh, I have two things that I find really helpful. That is a shopping list. 
And finally are going to be the recipe inserts. outline of the inserts that I want the recipe book to have. In today's agenda I want to um, get a little color palette and also a couple of fonts that are going to be specifically, specifically for those products. Excuse my face today, I know my eyes are really little but I'm really into this cold. I just recorded a video that I am going to upload tomorrow that is about creating binders for planner. If you haven't seen it before, uh, here's the link. I will also leave the link down below. Hello guys and good afternoon. Today is Thursday <clears throat> and yesterday I wasn't able to record anything because I was editing and uploading a video that I hope you have you have seen already it's about creating binders in Procreate app and um, yeah in the middle of the editing I found a couple of batches that the footage was too long so i have to split the editing in two videos uh yesterday i uploaded the first part and to and i have already edited the second part and it's going to be up next week around friday so stay tuned for that one so yeah uh this morning i found myself with a lot of work to do still for this product but uh, the painting I already painted as you as you may may see here I already painted and uh, I haven't record me painting the the cover but um, I can show you the time lapse that procreate allowed me to export so you can see more or less how I did it
Friday. Uh, and I think I've made it. I didn't think I was able to record the whole week because of, you know, work and, um, you know, uh, the baby that is here and other projects that I have going on. But yeah, I was able to do that. To do that, um, yesterday you saw me creating the seasoning and spices page. Uh, it's really simple, nothing much going on. And also the measurements page that, as I told you, is going to be for, uh, as a freebie, I'm going to give it to you as a freebie um, in the link down below that I have available for you. Today, uh, in today's agenda is to design the recipes, the recipe pages. I hope you like it and it's useful and, and uh, it gives you the things that you need to create your own recipes or you, to deposit all the recipes that are in your head. So let's get to the Procreate app and start illustrating. Okay, I hope you like that. Um, I think the book turned out really cute. Uh, I'm really excited to use it and to put all my sweet recipes. I hope you like it and purchase it in my Etsy store. Also, thank you for bearing with me with this voice. Finally, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you like this kind of videos. I'm planning to do more. I want you to let me know if you are interested in this type of studio vlogs where I show you the process of making the things that I do here in my studio. Let me know in the comments below. I don't worry, I also keep will keep doing uh, uh, tutorials and how-to videos that I have been requested. Please stay tuned for 
many videos that I have coming up. Without further ado, thank you so much again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.